I have reoccurring dreams every night. And I think it means that I just, it's like, I think it's like, you know, the, how the old LPs used to get stuck. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. It's just, I think my LP gets stuck. How would you rate your confusion level with 10 being the most confused and 11 being close to that? Um, it's, I, I'm pretty close to 11. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about dreams, murder, and sexual fantasy? Dig dreams, not very pro on murder, and I think sexual fantasy is pretty, pretty good too. Well, I've actually never had a sexual uh, fantasy. <laughs> that, uh, you can ask me the next question. Okay, okay we'll move on. Um, can you explain multi-window photography, emotional fidelity imaging? No. I could. Okay, put you up. No. Okay. Are you a gambler? Yeah, but I'm not a very good one. <laughs> Um, well, I'm an actor. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, with my life, but not with my money. Okay. Yes. What, what's your game? I love poker, mm -hmm. but I love the ponies. Mm -hmm. um, I love to bet on football. I love to bet on basketball. I love to bet on ant races. Are you a gambler? If you're going to bring up the Mets, <laughs> this is over! <laughs> no. Uh, um, uh, am I a gambler? Uh, uh, why? You want to bet on something? No, I, I, uh, I'm getting very uncomfortable all of a sudden, very flushed. Okay, uh, let's yeah. move on to a more okay, yeah, better subject. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I used to have a recurring dream about, um, uh, what is that, um, Snow White, when she bit into the apple, the witch, the Snow White bit mm -hmm. into the apple, and I recall I was standing at a bus stop when that happened, and uh, it's, this is absolutely true. This is, this is the most serious part of the interview. Mm -hmm. um, I was standing at a bus stop and the witch walked up to me and offered me an apple and I mistakenly took a bite out of it. And it, was, it was very, it was horrifying to me as a child. But then again, I, I often think that I've lived my dreams so many times, and this is serious, that I should really be on Jerry Springer. Um, yes, I had a recurring dream that my teeth, my back molars were, I'd be eating and be breaking in my mouth. And I think that meant I was um, holding back on telling somebody the truth about something. Um, I did when I was young. I actually had a recurring nightmare, mm -hmm. like for years, like six years, six or seven years. Um, and I, I don't know what it was about. I think it probably all had to do with family stuff. And But it was interesting, though, that I think I was t 11 or 12. And I was done. I was done with these nightmares. Like, I was done with them. And one night, I said, this is the last night for, for, for my nightmares. I'm not going to have it anymore. And before I went to sleep, I put on my Han Solo blaster, my Indiana Jones bullwhip, and I put it on this belt with my leather jacket, and I went to sleep with it on. And I woke up in my dream. You know, I started having one of my nightmares again. And I suddenly, in my dream, went, wait a second. And I looked down and I had my Han Solo blaster and I had my bull whip. And I pulled my blaster out and I started firing at this thing. And I went down this corner and I opened it up and there's like this death creature. And I whipped him and I went like Han Solo. Dreams were done. It's a true story. It really did. And I woke up in the morning and it's like, oh, and I also had my lightsaber too. I had uh -huh. a lightsaber, Han Solo blaster, uh -huh. and the bull whip. Awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. And I never had those bad dreams again.